So let me ask you something. Can we afford, as a country, another mortgage bailout? Think about this. We're, we're bailing everything out. We're stimulus packages, airlines and cruise lines are asking for bailouts. Uh, look, I lived through Delta Airlines. I worked there from 1998 to 2005, and 2001 was, hello, World Trade Center, planes in the World Trade Center, and the whole market crashed. Uh, bankruptcy for Delta and for many other airlines and restructuring. I lived through that. I know what it's all about. I lived through the mortgage crash. I was in the mortgage business in 2008 and I saw all the bailout and was like, oh, you can't do that. Why are you bailing out these big banks and all this stuff? Well, guess what? Do you know how much we spent on that bailout? 191 billion, 191B, right? So for those of you who are like, oh, we shouldn't spend that money, that's taxpayer money. How much money do you think we made since then off of that? $301 billion in profit because the government has put Fannie and Freddie Mac in conservatorship, which means government run, government profiting, $301 billion. So the government profited a ton of money off of doing that. Now we're trying to get them out of conservatorship, but now with this going on, who knows what's gonna happen, maybe more bailout, maybe you don't need the bailout because they're already in there and it's already government sponsored. So can we afford another bailout? Hey, let's bail out the airlines, let's bail out the cruise lines, and then let's say we're taking a piece of your profits in the future. Let's do the same thing, turn 191 billion into 301 billion profit. I think we should do it and actually, I'm gonna show you, flash on the screen here, the source, National Real Estate Post. Those guys are awesome, always have good insights, and I watch them, try to watch them every day, but there you saw the stat that they got, and that's it, Phil Stevenson, Morgan Nerd. Let's keep bailing them out because we need it, and, and we need it. <laughs> Bye.